Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Rondia71, and it's Sunday. Um, just came back from church, and I just wanted to share with you my outfit of the day, what I wore to church. Of course, you couldn't see my shoes, but they were, you know, irritating my feet because I bought them while I was overseas, so I bought them a half size too big because, you know, the price of beauty, you just want to have some cute pink shoes. Anyway, I wanted to come to you this afternoon. Um, before I get started, um, all my makeup that I have on today is by Clinique, except for the, um, in the crease, that color is a, is my elf color, but everything is a girlfriend of mine calling me, I'll have to talk to her later, um, but everything else is all the Clinique products that I'm wearing on my face, my new blush, my stay matte foundation, and my chubby stick lip pencil, I don't even remember, they're still holding up, really good the Tuesday will be the third week and if you are following me on my YouTube channel I plan to keep them six to eight weeks I have this countdown on my Facebook page and some of my friends all over the world because you know I am military they are like really shocked like oh my gosh she's gonna cut off all that beautiful hair but I'm like um, you know some of them that know me they know I've been natural before they see me with the big chop with short hair, they're like, you have the face for it. If anybody can do it, you can do it. But they don't, and you know, your hair will grow back. And it's probably going to be longer, stronger, and healthier than it is. Or kind of um, thin from just, you know, chemical processing. So what I wanted to share with you today is the, the Curly Handbook by Lorraine Massey. Curly Girl, the Handbook. I was on YouTube the other night, as I am most weekends when I will have some downtime and I don't have a lot going on in the house and I've cleaned the house and, you know, did everything I needed to do. So I was on YouTube and I was like, okay, how am I going to transition? How You know, I remembered what I um, looked like when I had my hair big chop the first time in 09. And I have a picture and I will include it at the end of what my hair looked like when I did the big chop. It has conditioner on it. I found these pictures. And I will share that with you. I will put that um, picture at the end of this um, video. I'll put it, I'll edit it and put it at the end. So I was like, my hair is, you know, 4A, 4B texture, some 4C maybe. But I, you know, I have tightly cold hair. I have the zigzag formation. My hair is fine because, fine to medium because of the fragileness of our multicultural hair. So this book has been so informative. It even has a DVD in the front. And I have not watched the DVD, but I plan on watching the DVD. Um, Miss Massey has been just so informative with this book. I really love it. I've already started, you know, cornering my pages of the ones that I want to refer back to. She breaks it down as far as, um, if you can see that, I have all my different um, pages that are cornered so I can go back and refer to them. And um, one of the ladies on YouTube, Linda Keith Anderson, shout out to you. Thank you so much for doing your YouTube videos. They are just so informative. And then Mahogany Curls, some ladies that I just discovered yesterday, and I subscribe to their channels. Um, if I didn't do Mahogany, I, I meant to, and if not, I will go back and do it. And there's, there's a couple of others that um, I was looking at for, you know, trying to formulate a plan in my head of how I was going to go about the curly girl um, method without even getting the book. Let me tell you about how the book got into my hands. My hands. Curly girl. I, 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 I was looking on YouTube and so I said, well, let me, it was um, Friday night. I said, well, let me call the local bookstores here to see if I can find this book. Well, so I went to Barnes and Nobles and, you know, we looked he said they had one, but they didn't go and look. So when I got to the store, which was not that far from here, they didn't have the book, even though it said they had one. So I was a little frustrated with that. So I had called Books A Million while I was in Barnes & Noble, and they said they had one, went and looked, and they didn't have it. Well, the next morning, I was out running some errands. It was Saturday morning. I was just out doing whatever I needed to do for Saturday. And something told me my spirit said, call Books A Million again, because I knew Barnes & Nobles didn't have the book because I was actually there with the guy looking in the store. Sure enough, they went and got it. They had the book, and I ran there. I mean, I was in my vehicle, but I didn't practically run. But you know what I mean? That, you know, some people 
bless their hearts, in the wrong section or whatever. And one of the guys was trying to explain it to me. But anyway, I got my hands on the book. I had actually ordered it online from Amazon and I went and called the guy, emailed him and told him I found it. It was an error. Please, you know, refund my little eight, ten dollars or whatever it was because I found the book. So in the book, she talks about the curly girl method for all types of hair textures. But mostly we need conditioner, 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 and moisture. So that's what I plan to do. And the most important key factor in this is how you actually shampoo your hair, you know, depending on your um, texture of hair. But zigzag, you know, you start at your temples, you put your shampoo, your sulfate free shampoo, which is most important. And then your botanical conditioners. Well, you know, botan I do have one botanical conditioner. I think it's um, Jason's brand. And I didn't, I don't have that with me, but it's in my plethora of conditioners and hair products but I will use that because that is a botanical conditioner but her the key is sulfate free or no shampoo let me say that again sulfate free or no shampoo just using conditioner as your shampoo normal cheap inexpensive conditioners without silicones well guess what that's kind of hard to find today's market right Right, and she's also talking about how with our fine, fragile curls, we shouldn't use a wide tooth comb, we shouldn't use a Denman brush or any of that. So I'm just going to kind of experiment. I'm going to follow her method for about a good six weeks once I take my braids. And I'm sure I'm going to, you know, go ahead and cut my hair. And I'm going to video that for you, my subscribers, and show you that process of how I'm going to take my braids out and cut my hair. I've already inquired at Cost Cutters and Walmart about if they can cut... Um, curly hair because that's something else that she talks about in the book finding a stylist that can actually cut curly hair dry not wet dry and not in its um, straight in its um, curly state but but not in a straight state in its curly state so I, I did inquire at Walmart here and cost cutter so I did find some hairstylists that do know how to cut curly hair and that's how I plan on you know, getting my shape once my hair grows. My hair grows really fast when I don't have to do a lot of manipulation to it, especially with the relaxer and, you know, trying to blow dry it and all that good stuff. So let me get to what I found this weekend. For my sulfate-free um, shampoo, I chose the Shea Moisture. I'm sure everyone is familiar with that. The Moisture Retention Shampoo. And also in the Science of Black Hair book, Audrey recommends the Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoo. I also got their raw shea butter restorative conditioner that I'll use as like my daily conditioner or if I want to leave it off for like 15 minutes, I will um, use that as well. It comes with a pump. These were like $9.99 at Target. And then I got the mask, the anti-breakage mask with the um, yucca and boab, boab, ab, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. And then I also got the Kinky Curly Not Today, the leave-in detangler. I already have the curly custard because she recommends using a good leave-in and actually leaving in some of the conditioner and then um, using a gel. So I have the curly, curly custard from Not Today that goes along with this. So I'll probably use that and this together as my gel. And then on some other days, I might leave some of this conditioner in. You know, it just depends. I just have to experiment to see what my other, um, what works for my hair. Then also I found these VL5 moisturizing conditioners. This one is Shea Cashmere. It has no silicones in it. It was at my local Dollar Tree for $1. And they had a plethora of those. So I will definitely go back and get that. And then here's the other VL5 um, moisture milk that everyone was raving about. And it has no silicones in it as well. So I'm very excited. And this was a dollar. Both of these a dollar. 15 ounces at your local Dollar Tree. They were at Publix, but they were like $1.19, so I kind of waited to see if they were going to be at my Publix. And then the other shampoo that uh, conditioner that everyone is raving, raving about is the Tresemme Natural Silicone Free Conditioner. And this one is the Moisture Nourishing Moisture, and it's 25 ounces. And this was at Walmart for $4.77, and it was also at Publix for $4.90. You know, when I started doing the Big Chop, and transitioning and actually I will share that with you because I wanted to do my whole transition on um, video so I can have this to share with my family and friends so thank you so much for watching have a blessed and wonderful Sunday wherever you may be